I'm gonna go on and let you guys know there will not be a fish count on this day on the water. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't even been here an hour, have we? No. <laughs> we ain't even been here an hour, and I bet we've caught 30 fish. Yeah. I mean, it's just been through the roof with the numbers. So I'll show you guys the small ones to the biggest ones and some in between, but you won't see every fish or it'd be an hour long video. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. Here we are, mid-afternoon, and I brought the secret weapons with me. This is a dynamic duo right here. This was to Andrew Grills, and that's Jason Hoffman. They're both fellow guys on Lake Fork, both good friends of mine. And it's very rare, and this is the first time that we've been in a boat together, all three of us, known each other for, for several years. But uh, today's the first time we've gotten to fish together. And so we're gonna go out, we got a little, uh, we're off Lake Fork, because nobody wants to share any, each other's secrets. So uh, I don't want to tell them either. Um, so we're on the lake that Jason knows about, and Jason, you want to kind of tell us what we're in for? Yeah, it's a sweet little old lake, full of grass, full of fish. Hopefully we're going to catch some big fish today, you know, that's kind of the plan, but we've uh, we got a front coming in tonight, so they ought to be chewing. They ought to be biting. We're, we're, we ain't going to make it complicated. We're going to throw simple baits, moving baits, and uh, chunk and wide, see if we can't put some on camera for y'all. Y'all stay tuned. chatterbait so far. I'm going to try to talk to y'all from behind the camera right now because the wind is blowing crazy and I know you can't hear me. But uh, that's three real quick. They're all small, but uh, we're in one spot. We haven't moved, as you guys can tell from the screenshot. And these boys are getting them going on chatterbait. They've got about five more minutes before I'm going to have a chatterbait on too. Alright, that was uh, fish number four. We're getting, these guys are getting bites almost every cast on chatterbait. You saw Jason just popped a really good one there, about six pounds or so. So uh, I think they're on to something. I think I'm gonna end up running the camera most of the day because the wind's today gun bad. If I don't stand right here by it, you won't be able to hear anything I'm saying. All right, guys, that was, what is that, five and six? Five and six. That's number five and six right there. These guys are getting bit a lot. They're not wanting to bite quite right. I don't know what it is. We got a hard south wind. We do have bluebird skies and really clear water, so that could be what's throwing them off a little bit. But uh, they're getting a lot of bites and pretty quick hookups. How long have we been here? 15? 10 minutes, 10 minutes? We've been here 10 minutes. This is all happening in about 10 minutes, so pretty fast action. Thank you. 
Y'all think they want them baits right now? <laughs> they are choking them down. Look at my, old Jay's got him a little better one here. Bring him on up in here, Jay. Look, mine's way bigger, see? <laughs> <laughs> Go, yeah. Jason Hoffman. That's right. So he's the only. Guy. So he. <laughs> I told these guys, I said, "Hey, it's the Indian, not the arrow. It's the Indian, not the arrow." Yeah. Andrew's out here having all the fun right now. I told him next time I stick one, I let him reel it in. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew said no. He said no thing. I'll pass. He's picky. He said that he ain't these these little fish. He ain't they ain't good enough for him. I stole Jason's bait. I stole Jason's bait. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. All right, as you guys can see now, these boys are getting them dialed in a little bit, getting on a little bit better sized fish. Good. Catching some good solid. Looks good boy, look at that. Eight, eight. They're just eating that chatterbait down. White chatterbait's really been a deal. Jason's got that white swim jig going, but really they're hitting both about as good. Way to watch y'all jump on me. I'm pointing at me. That's that new Strike King tungsten two tap that they came out with. 
you can see how far in his mouth, how far in the mouth he's got that bait. Oh, new swim bait right there. That's doubles, boys. Oh, God. <laughs> we almost had triples. I screwed it up. The other one on the big swim bait. Even the big Look bait. how big that swim bait he is. And that's what, a two pounder, two and a half pounder, maybe? Yep. He don't know what to think of that 10 out hook, does he? <laughs> yeah. That's my best of the day. <laughs> oh, I haven't talked to him about it. That'll make sense. There you go. Got on the head hunter, uh, smash stick. New bait coming out this spring. I tried to cut in. Tried to take a little break on the camera and Andrew throws out there and gets another one. Yeah, he thought he was big. <laughs> That's good. Sir, a chatterbait fish got a little salad on it. Eating healthy. Coontail, mostly coontail? Yeah, coontail. All coontail grass, and uh, man, we're just throwing all kinds of baits over them rattle traps, shatter baits, swim baits, swim jig. Caught them on all those baits. Andrew's caught a couple on the big swim bait. It's just a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Yes, sir. They like that bait. I think I like that bait, too. It's got a cool sound to it. It's the first time I've ever thrown it. But it uh, won't be the last. Anything in particular you're doing when you're throwing that trap out there? That grass, you know, making contact with that grass. That's the biggest thing. When you make contact with that grass, just kind of ripping it free, and you just feel them smoking. Lots of fun. I did the Google Earth deal and did the measuring tool. Yeah. Came out to the map. What you got there, Drew? That's pretty good. What a good one. A lot better. There you go. Look at that. Yeah. Beautiful. That's a good one. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. No, sir. No. So, I caught it on a chatterbait, uh, ticking the top of the coon tail, and. Uh, I wasn't just a few cranks in, she smoked it pretty good. Get you a little wet, Billy. There's, there's not a much better bait to catch a bigger than average size fish around grass than a chatterbait. Old bottom lipper. Little upside downer. <laughs> that fish was swimming just like that when she bit, wasn't she? Yeah, another chatterbait fish, ticking the grass, smoke. Brand new rattle trap. Yes, sir. Jason Hoffman's got a new favorite toy. The old tungsten two tap. <laughs> That's a, in the red eye. Yeah. Red eye exactly, family. Yeah. yeah. 
Oh, oh right hand, right. didn't he? <laughs> Dead gum. That's a good one, Jay. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to end our day on the water right here. Uh, these guys just doubled up on a couple pretty solid fish. Caught a bunch of those. Mm -hmm. Jason got the biggest one today at six pounds. We all had a lot of a lot of fish catches. I didn't even hardly get the fish. I, caught, I was filming them so much. <laughs> yeah. Who's got the longest arm? <laughs> That's about right. Jason, you want to say you anything? Yeah, I mean, we had a good time. I mean, we expected to catch them. I mean, it's not always this easy. We kind of... All right, guys, that's going to do it for our day on the water today. Uh, Andrew refuses to quit. One more throw, one more <laughs> so uh, I don't blame him. We caught so many fish. We're probably out here for an hour and a half. You're not going to see all the fish catches because if I did, it would be just an hour and a half long live feed because we literally never went more than five minutes without a catch. Yeah. So, Jason, can't say enough, man. Thank <laughs> you for bringing me out here. Yeah. yeah you know, absolutely. It was so much fun. Uh, Tell us about it, man. Well, it's, you know, we, we really kind of thought they'd bite today. We've got a big cold front coming in tomorrow. Um, you know, just conditions set up really well for us to catch them today. And it, it really, I said the secret weapons, but they're really not a secret. Everybody knows them. They're legit. I mean, these guys are two of the best big fish bass fishermen there is. And, uh, man, I appreciate it. Thank y'all so yeah, much. Yeah. I know it wasn't real informational today. Uh, we were just kind of chunking and whining, but, you know, maybe it's one of them deals where you can take from it. Hey, when you got a front coming in the next day, and that south wind's blowing 20. Yeah. Chunk yeah. and wine. Yeah, yeah. In the fall, I mean, every, anytime you start to get those fronts coming in, especially in the fall, I mean, you just, you got to really go throw a moving bait, in my opinion. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, we tinkered around a lot today, too, to see if we could figure out one, one particular bait that probably caught more big fish than another. And, you know, we caught good fish on everything, yep. but I think we probably all agree, really, that chatterbait with that live magic shad on the back probably really yeah. produced more big fish than anything yeah, else absolutely. today. You know? Absolutely. Yeah, and you guys know, y'all probably see me talk about Lake Fork Tackle a lot. I'm not trying to knock any other plastic company out there. There's tons of them that make awesome baits. But when it comes to a chatterbait, yeah, we there's, all three fish for a living, and we yeah. all three of us will tell you the same thing. Yeah. On a chatterbait, live magic yeah, chatterbait. Yeah, there's one trainer for the back of that, that chatterbait, and that's live magic that's chatterbait. Right. It's, Absolutely. It's no doubt. All right, well, we appreciate y'all watching. Uh, if you like the video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. If you uh, want to see more like this, hit that subscribe button for me. And uh, appreciate it. See y'all next time.